El Paso's history that goes back millions of years ago still lives on and can be found on the Franklin Mountains. KTSM 9 News reporter Carla Draxler is live in the newsroom. Good morning, Carla. Good morning, Susie. Well, a long, long time ago, El Paso used to be underwater. And still to this day, you can find fossils laying around the city. Walking at the bottom of the ocean. What's really crazy is that a couple hundred million years ago, El Paso was completely underwater. But still to this day, you will be able to find many fossils that used to be living organisms. During different time periods, we were further out from further out in sea and then closer to the shore. Different fossils can be found scattered all across El Paso's parks, and some of them are kept at the Centennial Museum at UTEP. You can find different types of fossils, different types of shells, corals, brachiopods. Um, the El Paso group has trilobites, which are really fun and cool to find. Um, and you can see them all throughout the Franklins. El Paso's fossils are one of the oldest ones. So during your next hike on the Franklin Mountains, look around for a seashell or a coral fossil. But make sure you don't destroy any of your surroundings. Don't want to damage any of the rocks that are outcrops because it, you know, the more people take things from these places, the less that we'll be able to see in the future. Preserving the nature just like it preserves us with the beauty and wonders that hold all the memories of the world, sometimes hidden at the bottom of the ocean.